Hi there, everybody. It's been a while. Uh, I'm Adam Source, and I'm here to talk about more music no one cares about. Uh, so, lately a few people have been telling me to look into War and Peace. Uh, they said they thought I'd really like it. I'm not 100% sure what a Russian novel from the 1860s has to do with me or my interest, but I, I guess I'll take a look at... What? What, what do you mean? You don't mean the novel? What? New Demon Hunter albums? When did that happen? What do you mean I'm like... However many months late for this? Alright. I'll just, um... Use my magic teleporter that's totally right here to, uh... Poof them into existence. Poof. So, uh, these are the new Demon Hunter albums. War and Peace. Or is it Peace and War? I guess this is Peace and this is War. Uh, so we're going to talk about War today. Um, I'm going to um, listen to it telepathically. Okay, done. So... What I was expecting when I heard about these was a aggressive, in-your-face peace for war, and a more mellow and reserved peace for peace. Uh, we'll get to talking about peace next week, but for war, this is actually more just your standard Demon Hunter album. It's got a lot of good things about it. Basically, your good mix of melodicness and heaviness, and... You know, I was like I said, I was expecting something heavier. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to sound like brutal slamming death metal or anything, but I was expecting something a little bit heavier than their usual offering, something more akin to their first self-titled album. But it's still a bit heavier than the songs found on Peace generally. The melodic death metal influences are really apparent here in a lot of the lead work, especially tracks like Grey Matter and Unbound. Uh, there's a lot of good melodies and hooks overall on the album. Really, this is one of those albums I, I just kind of have to say the old standby. If it isn't broke, why fix it? If you like Demon Hunter, I don't think this album will change, will uh, be anything bad to you. If you don't like Demon Hunter, I don't know that this would change your mind. Uh, the only thing missing on this is there's not really a ballad track like there is on most Demon Hunter albums, so that's kind of different. Uh, just the vocals and lyrics are good, too. The, the lyrics are your standard Demon Hunter fare with... A lot of poetry to the lyrics and the more dark and somber lyrical content, such as death, religion, judgment, the meaning of what what it means to die. You know, fun stuff like that. I mean, I think that's fun stuff. Maybe I'm just weird. Um, the album cover is your pretty standard Demon Hunter logo. Looks like it's made out of like twigs and stuff, like a bird's nest, or maybe it's supposed to be roots. I think that looks pretty cool. I, it's the motif at this point. I, I always look forward to whenever there's a new Demon Hunter seeing what they turn, made the logo out of this time, so that's always cool. Like I said, this album is nothing new or fancy. It's pretty standard Demon Hunter work. I like it, personally. If you're a fan, you'll probably like it. If you're expecting something a bit heavier, you're not really going to get that. If you're not a fan of Demon Hunter already, I'm of the opinion this wouldn't change your mind. But, it might. If you want to check this out, even if you're not a fan of Demon Hunter, I can recommend the tracks. Grey Matter, On My Side, and Unbound. Those are, in my opinion, the, probably the, some of the better tracks on here. Not that there's not ones better than that, but I think those are the most rounded and give you a great greater sense of what the overall sound of the album is. Uh, yeah, next week we'll talk about peace, and then we'll keep going from there. I have a bunch of albums that have come out this year that I'm, as usual, extremely late to talk about, and um, yeah, we'll get on those as the weeks go on. Have a great day. This has been Adam Soros talking about more music no one cares about.